there's two types of mechanical pulping. There's what's called stone groundwood, and then there's refiner pulping, which is either called RMP for refiner mechanical pulping, or TMP for thermo-mechanical pulping. I'll talk about each of these in turn. Um, stone groundwood was one of the original pulping methods used for wood. Um, and that's where the term pulp mill comes from because the original pulp mills had water wheels and they had grindstones just like in windmills and water mills and they used to just grind the wood. It was as simple as that and that process still is used although not with water mills these days. Um, there's a big grindstone and basically a log is forced against that wheel either that way or maybe that way. You know, just have a big pile of them in a, a cassette that is forced on with um, hydraulic pressure and the wheel goes round and the wheel is, has a grit in it and the wheel has a pattern in it and it just grinds the wood. It's no more sophisticated than that. Um, obviously water is involved because otherwise it would catch fire uh, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't take much imagination to realise that an enormous great wheel, which is probably taller than I am, spinning round at a high um, number of revolutions, and probably about that wide, is uh, going to require quite a lot of energy to keep it going. Uh, and the same also goes for refiner mechanical pulp. And refining involves the use of a, a disc, but this time now the disc is like this. There's two discs that rub against each other. And in the middle of the disc, we have chips that go in, uh, and these chips are spun out by the centrifugal force of the disc, and the disc has a pattern on it, and the shape of that pattern is very sophisticated. So these grooves in that disc get smaller and smaller and smaller, so as the chips get reduced in size down to fibres, out of the periphery of this disc will come the fibres from the process, from the me mechanical pulping process. In both cases, there's been no attempt to remove the lignin of the middle lamella, and there's no attempt to remove the lignin in the fibre. So fibres from mechanical pulping processes will have all the lignin present that was there in the tree in the first place. And that has consequences, as we will see in a later talk.